But I'm after a much more elusive animal, and this is one of its last redoubts. It's a butterfly, the high brown fritillary. This is one filmed here in July. There are now only a handful of breeding sites left in Devon. Over the years, it's seen its traditional home of moor and woodland edge destroyed, and nationally, numbers are down by over 90% since the 70s. Back in the 1950s... I'm with John Randall, who's been counting butterfly numbers for decades. He does this same walk, called a transect, every week during the butterfly season. No one has a better idea of what's happening here. Last year, I only recorded seven high brown fritillary on the, the transect. And the weather never seemed to stop raining for the whole flight period, and I was really concerned whether the species would have survived on the site. But this year, it's been seen in really good numbers. I've already recorded 98 on the transect. We're still in the flight period, so I anticipate adding to that when I do the transect count next week. So it sort of suggests that if they do get the opportunity, assuming their numbers aren't too low, they can bounce back. This beautiful weather is obviously helping the species, but I also think that the, the cold winter helps as well. It's a striking insect. Its distinctive underwings with those high brown halos contrast with that lovely orange marked topside. Despite the good news this year, long term, the species is in desperate decline. But it's not for want of trying to save it. Devon Wildlife Trust are making huge efforts to recreate the traditional mix of wood, bracken and coppice that the insect needs. They're grazing ponies to keep the bracken and scrub down. And these cattle, as well as eating the grass, trample back the bracken so that it doesn't take over. You're much more likely to see these here. This is the small pearl-bordered fritillary. They're more common and they fly a bit earlier in June. Or this, the dark green fritillary. Easily confused with the much rarer high brown, the green refers to a suffusion on the underside of its wings. All these species are here because of the habitat management. And it's the creation of these little paths and rides throughout this otherwise in almost impenetrable jungle of bracken and gorse that is the secret. It allows the butterflies access to the flowers. It creates a nice little microhabitat. And if you actually come down here, you really get a sense of that. It's a sheltered little world. It's a real hot spot. There's flowers here so the butterflies can nectar. But more importantly, especially as far as the high brown fritillary is concerned, you get this. A carpet of these lovely little heart-shaped leaves. These are violets, dog violets, growing out of this lovely crispy litter of last year's bracken. And that's what they'll lay the eggs on and that's what the caterpillars will feed on the leaves later.